Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Tower of Guns, I'm Nye. Our collection is still 99% complete, as we continue to try to get Tunnel Rat completed for Uberwin. This is going to be painful. I'm still trying to decide if there's any better way I could be doing this. I'm still thinking something like maybe the Blather Sky Crossbow would be a potentially better idea. But uh, I'm going to try to go with the Constellation Charger one more time. I really do think the Constellation Charger is a really good gun for this. Uh, due to, you know, the spread, uh, fairly high rate of fire, really good damage, things like that. And uh, I think there's a really significant chance that it will do enough damage to get me all the way to the end. It's kind of funny to be getting this particular uh, story in the game. I actually had a discussion with a co-worker uh, the other day about Lord of the Rings. Uh, he's seen the movies, but he's actually never read the books. And uh, he was having a little bit of trouble kind of not only... One, he wanted to know what I felt about the movies, because uh, he figured I had read the books, and uh, I've read... I haven't read all the way through book three. I think I got halfway through, and I set it down for some reason. But, um, you know, with The Hobbit being a really big deal right now, and, uh, you know, this next movie coming out, uh, I think in a couple of months here, from what I understand. But The Hobbit being a really big deal, um, and uh, Middle Earth Shadows of Mordor having just come out... Uh, he wanted to know, you know, kind of what I felt about the movies versus the books, and, uh, you know, I think the books did it better, personally. Uh, so we had that discussion, but it was kind of very interesting to talk to him about it, because, um, he's, he's, you know, he's never read the books. And, uh, there were some things he just wasn't, he just wasn't getting, uh, like he had gotten the wrong impression about stuff like, um, you know, the ring rates and what the one ring really was. Uh, if I remember correctly, he, he was under the impression that, I guess, I, I guess he had missed the start of the first movie, where it is really explained, uh, how the run, one ring works and all that jazz. There are multiple rings, the one ring was meant to control them. So it was, uh, kind of fun explaining that to him. It took him a while. He, you know, once I sort of explained that there were multiple rings, uh, which I guess kind of blew his mind a little bit, uh, he also was, uh, he next thought that, uh, I'm not quite sure where, like, where he got this idea, but he thought that the, um, the rings that were given to the humans, they originally intended to make them into ring rates, which, as far as I'm aware, is not true. It was just a side effect of the greed of the human of the humans that had on the rings. But it's just, it was, you know, as a person who, you know, I read The Hobbit when I was six. That that was my first introduction to the series. I gradually, uh, eventually went on to read the others, and I watched the movies with great enjoyment when they uh, eventually came out. Um. So as a person who, you know, kind of grew up on that, it was very interesting to uh, talk to someone who really never did. Really cool guy, though. It was really fun talking, and, you know, really fun to hear the responses of someone who really didn't know and wanted to know. And he was very interested in reading the books, and we uh, had a fun discussion on it, and, uh, you know, he was really generally interested to hear. Should I, you know, should I be reading these books? Is that something that, you know, that I would think that he should do? And, like, yes. <laughs> Without question. As soon as you possibly can, go buy them now. And, uh, you know, get to reading. It was even more fun, though, because we had the discussion on, uh, you know, specifically why I thought that the, uh, books were better than the movies. And, um, because, you know, I, I love the movies. I think they did their jobs really well in taking that story and putting it on screen. But there are just these, there are some things that just never... God damn it. <laughs> Give that to me. Aw. There are some things that never quite made it to the big screen that really should have. Um, and some of it, I guess maybe some of it was done to kind of encourage people to go read the books. But, uh, my favorite example... It's actually, you know, I guess become, uh, what's the pronunciation of the word? Memified? Memified? But, um, there's a picture you can find, uh, and I was recently reminded of this, actually, which, um, was kind of cool given this discussion between me and him. But, uh, there's a picture about, um, 
about Gimli and Legolas, and we all know that, you know, the two of them have this really interesting kind of... Is it gonna even let me hit that? Come on, hit that. Break that, thank you. Um, you know, there's always these, uh, always this, you know, interesting relationship between the two of them, because from what I understand, you know, dwarves and elves never really got along, and then, you know, now all of a sudden here's a dwarf and an elf who get along really well, uh, especially considering the, uh, back and forth nature between the two of them. They're always going at it. But, uh, one of the interesting things was the, um, was Galadriel's gift to Gimli, which I didn't even know this. This was something that had completely, like, passed me by, so I was unaware of this whole thing, but, uh, there's this awesome picture sort of explaining this. So we got, and my memory is kind of fuzzy on this. It's been a long time since I've seen the movies, and even longer since I've read the books. I read them just before the first movie came out, to give you an idea of exactly how long this has been. But, um, from what I, from what I recall, we're at the very end of, uh, we're at the very end of their stay with the elves in the forest, everybody's leaving, and Gladriel's handing out gifts to everybody, uh, based on, you know, kind of what she thinks they'll need in their journey, what she thinks would be useful. She gets to Gimli, and she, you know, says to him, Look, I, I don't have anything for you, because I do not know what to give a dwarf. And, uh, if I remember correctly, Gimli says something to the effect of, Uh, I find that you are the most beautiful woman, most beautiful person in the world, and, uh, I would simply take a token from you. And that's it. And, you know, this could be just about anything. This could be her handkerchief, of all things. You know, there's, there's a lot of options for Gladriel. But then she, uh, reaches up, and plucks three hairs from her head and hands them to him, and he is just the happiest girl at the Harvest Moon Ball. I mean, he is elated by this. And of course, nobody saw this, because this was just for Gimli. So Legolas goes on and asks him in the boat, what were you given? And Gimli says, uh, you know, I was given three hairs from her head. And then you see this grin from Legolas, and th there's a, you know, the question comes to anybody who doesn't know, what is he so happy about? What, what's so interesting? So apparently, now I didn't read the. Ah, you're gonna for, uh, any any Lord of the Rings fan. I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher this. The the uh, somewhere Silmar that S word book that Tolkien wrote, <laughs> Silmarillion, something like that. Uh, tells the history of a uh, history of the world prior to the book starting. What am I? Okay, I need to go. Where are these turrets? They're around here somewhere, and they're driving... Ah! Roof. Got it. Go away. Well, the story goes, as far as I understand, that there was some really big elf in the world. He was some hero, best elf in the world, something like that. And he asked a token of uh, Galadriel, and specifically said he wanted a hair from her head. And even though he was possibly the most important elf ever... Uh, she denied him, because it was, you know, his request was, I don't know, greedy or something, or he only wanted it for the uh, power and respect it would bring him, so he was denied, and he's just some big bad dwarf, like he's, so, or not dwarf, but uh, elf, some important dude, and Gladwell goes, nope, you shall not have this, and then here comes Gimli, dwarf. Not a, not a huge, you know, person in the elf community for multiple reasons. And he gets three. And the movie shows, you know, is, I was so sure. I guess I already found both of them. Okay. And I love that the movie shows, you know, Legolas's grin and, you know, he, he understands. He, he gets it. But, uh, I kind of like that the book describes some of that stuff. It's, it's, it's stuff like that. It's background information, it's, you know, descriptions, it's, uh, in-character thoughts, it's stuff that you can't see on a screen that I, that really makes the book uh, a little bit more magical to me. That's it. I need to go watch the movies again sometime soon. Because I probably, I don't think I've seen the movie since Return of the King came out, that was a long time ago. And at some point, I should probably go and watch The Hobbit, because I like a lot of the actors in it. 
should probably go read The Hobbit because it's been a very long time since I've read it. Very long time indeed. I used to have a really good edition of the book too. It was like I, I had hardcover of all four of the books bought separately. And the one for The Hobbit was really special to me because it was not only was it hardcover, but it looked like the map in it was hand drawn, and it wasn't. You know, you, you know that it came from, you know, a print or something like that. Uh, there's no way I had a hand drawn edition of The Hobbit, but it really did feel like that. It was wonderfully embossed on the cover. It's kind of thing that you know probably cost a lot of money for my parents to get for me, especially for a young person. I think if I had to, if I had to guess, it probably was my dad's copy as opposed to just one they got for me because I was way too young to have that book. And, you know, there's a lot of good memories attached to it, especially with my dad, because if I remember correctly, he read the book to me first. And uh, I paid as much attention as I possibly could, being young at the time, and then I sat down and read it myself. Which goes along perfectly with stories that you'll hear from my family about me. Okay, this is this is getting a little bit much. Let me just... I'm just gonna walk over here. You guys can stay in that corner, that's fine. Come here, Twerp. Well, yeah, it was, uh kind of a special book to me. I'm sure I have it around here somewhere. I'm sure it's in a box. I just have to go find it. Somewhere. Okay, what am I gonna get, uh, what am I gonna get here? So, run-wise, we're, uh, we're looking pretty okay. Okay, so, someone asked me, what happens if you get spread shot on a gun that already spreads? And what it looks like is that you get more shots. Based on what I'm seeing from the Constellation Charger. Um, so that's the answer I'm gonna go with. Uh, it's the answer I started with when I was originally asked, but I didn't have any proof at the time. Um, unfortunately, the only other gun that we could really test this with would be Egon's Pride, which I'm just not using. So I'm assuming that we have more bullets, that's what it looks like. Um, if I do get a chance to get more, or get another, um... If I do get maybe another uh, drop at some point that I can test, you know, like swap out, because I kind of neglected to check that before uh, before I picked up uh, spread. But I think that's what this does. So that's the answer I'm going to go with. That's, the, that's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. So we're doing pretty okay. So that was the foundry. Um, you know, things are just going to get harder from here. So it's not as if we've, uh, it's not as if we've gotten the easy path just yet. Got to keep going. Luckily, I'm not going to warehouse. That's actually a really nice thing for me. I'm really happy about that. Warehouse is just a gigantic pain in the ass. I don't really need that. So just leave that on the ground. Let's keep working. Having the vasoconstriction jelly is really good for me. This gives me a chance to get that health back. It's probably going to be... I'm not sure what I prefer more right now, Vasoconstriction or Aortic Levy Device, but I think Vasoconstriction Jelly actually uh, lets you recover more health as long as you're standing in it. And um, I think just, you know, a longer effect. So this is probably the better of the two. But right now, uh, right now any comp, or any, um, anything that gives me health back is going to be very important at this time. Okay, I don't, you know, I'm not a fan of this room right now. This room generally comes with bad things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out all these guys on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to deal with the flying pains in the asses. Oh, crap. Force these guys to spawn. It's cool, it's cool, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Just got to take out these guys real quick. And then by then, what will probably happen is all of the, uh... All of these guys will probably have killed themselves for the most part. And that's actually what looks like it happened. Yeah. Um... Just gonna pick up some of this nonsense. We're just gonna kill these guys for the most part. Did, okay, we got a couple spawns just now. Unfortunately, no badges, which, you know. Ah, there we go. And that's wonderful because that is some armor up. So that may actually get us up to, uh, like, baseline armor. Which, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, I prefer to be above baseline, but if we can at least get to baseline armor, I would be happy. Because my ability to dodge is not amazing, but I can at least use that to, to go from there. Uh, okay. Not going to be able to do incredibly much in this room. I need to get away from the uh, those guys. Oh. 
second spawn, but it's cool. Let's just take out these guys. Damage up is amazing on this gun, especially uh, with as many bullets as we're firing at once. So I am very happy about a damage up. I would like to see another armor up. Because I don't know if we went down one or two armor stages. Okay, I'm not going to even bother with the rest of this room. We're just going to leave. Because there's really nothing I can do about the secrets that are up there. What are we going to get in here? God, it had to be Chompslot, didn't it? This is exactly what I didn't want. Okay. Just keep an eye out here. We're going to have to be careful. We're going to have to be quick about it when things start spawning on me. Take out this guy quickly. We just want to get rid of the adds as soon as possible. Typically, that's not my style. Usually, I just go and fight. But, um, the adds are definitely going to cause problems in this fight with me having as low armor as I have. So, let's just take care of these guys real quick. Just make sure we don't have to deal with that. Wonderful. Trying to track chomps a lot by the sounds they're making. There we go. One's down. Now, chomps a lot does get faster the more damage it takes, but uh, we ended up having a really good event. Uh, no. I'm not going to do that. So that would take health from me to give me more experience, but I really don't want... I really don't want that. That sounds like a terrible idea. So instead, we're just going to move on. Only found 50% of the secrets because I wasn't able to go onto the actual, uh, yes, Hogwarts Alley. I wasn't able to go on top of, uh, on top of the tower, so of course I'm not going to be getting those bonuses, but that's fine. Uh, I am not going to be killing the Hugbots this time. Um, increasing the difficulty on me does not sound like a really good idea. Do I have, I do not have the jumps to get up there just yet, but maybe if I can get a jumps up or, nope. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do any of that. Eh, it's a pretty good run so far, though. I'm pretty happy with how this run is turning out. Uh, is there any way for me to make this work? Probably not, but I am going to try anyways. Go away, Hugbots. Do not make me be tempted to kill you, because I am I just might. I might make that decision. It would be a very poor decision on my part, but it may be a decision that I make. Okay, can I get up here? Yep. But I'm not going to be able to really get up there. Let me try one more time. But this is basically a series of jumps that, uh, no, I'm not going to be able to make. Okay. I'm only going to be able to get one of the two secrets, but that's fine. Should I kill the hut? No, no. Not gonna do it, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna raise my difficulty by that much just so I can get the couple small bonuses the game would give me. Uh, that looks like the captain's belt, which I don't want. I will, however, take the health up and a bunch of money. No. I was really hoping for the motivator. Or the, uh, or the pan flute. But that's fine, that's fine. And to logistics we go. I spawned in a room. No, I didn't. That was weird. I thought I heard spawns. Weird. Whoa! Ah! Don't do that. Do not fire spike balls at me. Oh, crap! There are some on the ground, too. Ow, God damn it! You can see exactly how much damage I'm taking from these things. It's ridiculous. Let's just heal up real quick. Ugh. Okay. That's fine. That's full health. Didn't really lose much. I'm not going to be able to, of course, use the Basket Restriction Jelly for a little bit, but, you know, we're going to be fine. Okay, this room isn't too bad. Who's spawning? Who spawned? Floor, floor, okay. Let's just march my way down here, kill all these things, and then we'll go ahead and uh, hit up the secrets here. Not quite sure what I'm looking for. Uh, our ability to jump is really 
pretty severely limited right now, so that's probably something I'd like to see changed. More double jumps, more jump height. Thank you. That's exactly what I was asking for. Still probably want to see another double jump. At least one more. Uh, I definitely want to see some more armor up. Maybe some damage up. But honestly, I think we're probably okay on damage. Not sure what else I'd want to look at. Um, ow, what are I gonna find? Oh. There's a speed up. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but uh, I am cool with getting a little bit more speed, getting us up to 23. 20 is the max, so I'm only one to two badges off of uh, max speed here. And I enjoy having speed. Being able to run around, you know, Speedy Gonzales style is really nice. Uh, gives me a little bit more of a lateral jump. So it's something cool that I like. Anything else up here? Got ourselves another gold coin, so I guess that's okay. Let's see what room that we get after this. Uh, oh, this room. Okay. That's well, not too bad. Let's let these guys get closer before I kill them, because I want to... Make sure that all of their goodies are dropped here with me. Looks like there's an enemy above me. Don't think I'd actually be able to get these rewards up here. I'm pretty sure I do not have the jumps required. Yeah, not really. Unless I can get a jump reset off of something. Kill all these guys. Oh, there's a couple bomb bots down there, the big ones. Don't think they're going to be too much of an issue for me, though. Oh, well, yeah, looks like I can do this. Maybe. Let's go ahead and let these guys get a little bit closer. Nope, okay. Uh, difficulty up? Definitely do not want that. Let's just not do that. Can I... please? Thank you. One, two... Ugh, that's pretty... that's a pretty close thing. Um... Yeah, I might not actually be able to pull this... Oop, hello. There was a reset there. Where was it? Ah! Wonderful. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Got it. And there was nothing up here, so it was pointless in the first place. Oh, just... okay. How many of those are there? Is there just one... Just one bomb floating around? Oh, there's some more over here. That concerns me, because I'm just being thrown up into these things' line of fire. I'm not really happy about. Because I've been killed by super shots on more than one occasion. Did that actually give me anything? Nope. Man. Drops are being sparse today. Oh, hello, I see... Ooh. It's random. Hopefully I'm lucky. Item charge rate down. Um, that's not the end of the world. Not good, definitely. Especially with the fact that we haven't really gotten any other, uh... Item charge rate badges whatsoever. But it's not it's not terrible. This means I can't heal quite as often as I would like to. Oh, let's blow that up before I even get up there, please. I'd rather not have that not happen while I'm actually up here. Come on. Detonate. Okay, well you just sit there then and do nothing. The question is, is there anything up there? this time. Well, a little bit of money, but honestly, I don't care all that much. Okay. Lots of spawns. Terrifying spawns. Um, ow. I might just want to leave. I might just not want to deal with this. But, lots of enemies, so chance of drops are pretty high. Chance of death is actually higher, though, so we're just going to leave. Not dealing with this. Whew. 
too much enemy. Let's get my health back up before we go into the next room. What room is that? Okay, I know what room that is. So, not an amazing logistics. Unfortunately, let's go ahead and get rid of the mine launcher before we move any further. There's a lot of enemies in this room. The good news about that is that means there's a lot of chances of drops. The bad news is that there's a lot of enemies in this room, which means a lot of chances of damage. Um, we're doing pretty okay here, luckily. When I say pretty okay, I mean pretty okay with damage. We're not getting a lot of drops here, which is a bit unfortunate. Come on, die, please. Thank you. The other question is, do I have do I have the jumps required to get to the secrets in this room? Uh, I'm not quite sure, actually. I'm inclined to say no. Lots of drops, though. Okay. Okay, so I can't get up there. I can get up here, though. Which means I can get into this secret, which... There's only some copper coins. That sucks. Okay, so the question is... Oh! No. Right here. Perfect. Anything on this side? Eh. Some experience. At this point, I don't need experience. At this point, I need a little bit more than experience, honestly. I need... Lots of stuff, but... 100 weapon EXP is not what I need. That's... Not a thing that's gonna help me win this round. A bit concerned about my chances of an uber win. Uh, we are fighting the pipe organ. Which could be good, could be bad. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the fight. We're doing a fair amount of damage. So that's the good news. Let's keep sweeping back and forth so I don't get hit by too much. I want to stay on the steps. Less of a chance of being hit by uh, spike balls this way. Excellent. Pipe organ's dead. Uh, another of that health to experience item, which I don't want. I beat this floor. Can I have an adventure? It's a hobbit that wants an adventure. How often does that happen? Okay, come on. Almost there. Nope, no, no, do not drop me. Do not drop me. Do not want to take that level of damage. Want to be over here? Nope. In the corner. In the corner. There we go. Missed it. Nope, almost. Nope, got it, got it, got it, got it. Excellent, come on. Nope, <laughs> get me up there. In that spot. Right. <sighs> okay, this is fine, this is fine. There's a jump up there. There's a jump, there's a double jump. You saw it, you can't say that you didn't see it. Oh god, I'm having so much trouble. It's partly speed, it's partly this blasted controller that I have not replaced throughout the entirety of this Let's Play. Come on. Nope. God damn it. Part of the problem is that in some of these cases, when I jump, the game is thinking I'm using a double jump as opposed to my standard just get off the floor jump. And that seems to be a big issue when it comes to specific jumps like this. Because you're not the first jump is just not happening because you're hitting the you're hitting your head on uh, the roof above you as opposed to getting out where you think you're getting out. So that causes some major issues. Come on. Come on, just let me get up here. God, I had a reset there and I didn't even notice it. No, no, no! God damn it! There's a double jump up there and I'm really invested in getting another double jump at this point. Nope. Nope. Having a lot of trouble making this work. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. It's, it's not worth it. I mean... 
taking damage for that. It's just not worth it. Okay. Into Sanctum we go. Come on. What am I looking at? Okay, I know this spot. Die? Okay. The rest of the guys, other than these spin bots, I can kill basically at my leisure. way through. Shoot this guy from a distance. I love how fast the uh, Constellation Charger shoots when it hits level 5. I mean, it's been level 5 for a while, but I thought I'd mention it. Anything good? More money. Had an awful lot of money in this run. Not a lot of shops, though. Okay, we're not going to be able to hit that particular secret, so we're just going to move on. Good amount of damage off on these guys. Oops, there are you. That should be a cleared room. Thought I saw a uh, blade bot around here somewhere, but I guess not. Uh, that is a difficulty up shot. No bueno. Okay, let's just go ahead and leave. Okay, uh, looks like we got a bomb spawn. My second spawn is dangerous. Wow. Um, okay, let's go over here. A bunch of these guys. Okay, so this is kind of problematic because, well, I mean, it is and it isn't. Most of the. I just lost my level. Let's go ahead and these guys. What I'm probably going to have to do is. What was that? jumps up. Wonderful. Guess what we're gonna do. Because I'm taking a lot of damage, and I need to get to a safe spot where I can undo this, use the vasoconstriction jelly, and then, uh, also potentially get it back. So I've used the jelly. We're killing targets, which will hopefully get it back for us. Uh, got above... Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's not really what I wanted to do. Not at all. Okay. Yeah, I'm behind you. I'm behind you. You can't hit me because I'm behind you. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Where'd you come from? Vazo Jelly has still not respawned. Is an unpleasant realization. So I'm not going to be able to use it in the next fight. Give me. Nope. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to use the vasoconstrictional jelly. It's just, it, it's not going to happen. Okay, this is probably going to be an unpleasant fight against the gumball machine. Not enough double jumps in the first place. And, um,. No vasoconstriction jelly. It may recharge in the middle of the fight, but. Adventure, reluctance, friendship. Yeah, it already spawned its shield. So I'm probably gonna have to do this from the floor, it looks like. Out. Kind of hoping that by killing these, I might be able to get a respawn off the Vazo Constriction Jelly. Not too hopeful for that, though. Ah, this is a bad series of spawns. Really bad. Okay, can I just hide here? Is that something I'm allowed to do? I might be able to just hide here. Let's just let's just sit here right here. Kill that thing. Good. 
keep on shooting that thing from here. And we'll just hide here. Strategy I haven't had to use before. But we'll just... It seems to be working. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned what will happen if a tank spawns. But, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Fortunately, the uh, shield seems to be coming down basically exactly when the next enemy spawns in front of me. Which is causing some issues. I really wish I had a better long-range weapon, like, say, the Bother Sky crossbow for this. But this is actually working rather well. That's what I was concerned about. This right here. And that right there. I'm gonna die. There is no doubt about that at this point. Okay, hopefully, what I'm hoping is that we don't get any more aerial spawns. Razor Constriction's doing okay. Not up, but... Okay, we can do it. We can do this. The cheesiest I've ever had to fight this thing, but it's almost dead. The problem is I'm only hitting with maybe two or three shots per. I'm not getting the full hit off. You don't get to, you don't get to shoot me. Okay, new guy should spawn. What do I get hit by? Get hit by something. Okay. Wow, this the music actually. Oh, I'm getting hit by explosions off of those guys. That's what I'm getting hit by. Oh god. Oh god, that's bad. It means I can't just sit here. Okay, that's fine. Just gotta watch out for that particular enemy type. Gumball machine's almost dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no! I was almost away! <laughs> okay. That was a good run, though. We did really well without really having anything. So, uh, wow. Okay, folks, I'll see you next time. Maybe we'll have a little bit more luck. Uh, I'm probably not going to use the Constellation Charger, to be honest with you. We'll probably use something else. But I'll see you guys next time.